two, one, and let's go. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me Oh, oh, just let me Oh, that hey. clock keeps ticking like a metronome no, I can't my thoughts you. keep telling me to get me home But yeah. my balls keep telling me to let me Oh, oh, just let me Oh, that clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts Hello, keep everyone. telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me Oh, fuck all that shit, just let me go Yeah, I'm rockin' this life hard here This is a badass, this is a drug ass I'm gonna go with the podcast for your ass How you doing? Yo, hey You sound like you ate your mic That's what it sounded like Hey everybody, what's going on? Listen, um I know I haven't been around a lot Um, there has been a lot of stuff going on Uh, as far as like Kind of spending time with my kids and stuff Uh, but the season's over pretty quick pretty soon and i'm gonna put more of an effort in into what's going on here so i do apologize to everybody that donates and stuff like that that i've been doing stuff um and i really there there is uh there is like the true crime stuff and i'm just gonna have to take time out and find something i'm really interested in bringing you guys through something funny so uh, keep your eyes open for that thanks for showing up today do appreciate it appreciate all your donations everything you do and i hope we can keep this going for many years to come to stretch out the last season for Emma, and who wants to stretch it out for Emma is other than Matt Pitt. How are you, Matt? Hi. How's Hello. it going? And I got Green Man here to comment on. Um, there's a lot of wacky stuff went on that I missed, so I'm gonna get a lot. But it'll be a bit late to the punch for all of it, but uh, you best believe I have takes for you. Hot ones. Hot ones. I don't know. I don't know if they're hot or not. I know they won't be obvious like Connors. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be. They won't be predictable. Actually, I don't even know if his stuff's predictable anymore. He's full time guy over there now, right? Who Connor? Yeah, I think so. Every time I see him, yeah, there, Con- yeah, no. yeah, there. He's like the full time guy. Because, yeah. um, well, clearly, uh, Bobax wanted out, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> Bobax wanted out, so that's kind of interesting. Um, glad Bobax got what he wanted. I came back from Tix Slides and ready for your show. Did he just end? Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. I don't know. See, I, I have a different take. I'm not angry. I don't care. I, I don't care at all. Do you care, uh, um, Mr. Scott at Treadlocks? I'm so angry at Tip Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope you can see the emotion. I'm trying to hide yeah. it. I'm trying to be reasonable. Um, if I'm being honest, I want Pipster to die. <laughs> Don't say that in, in Minecraft. Never. In Minecraft, obviously, in GTA, in every single game possible. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kendall continues. Um, well, I don't feel that way, but th- there's one thing I'm absolutely <laughs> sure of. I mean, because this is the most comical shit. Um, Is I right, just so want you to think about this. All right, he's transferring this activist within eh, under thirty days. Okay, right. The reason for going this is because he wanted to leave the community, even though he kind of pulls a trick. He keeps talking about the kid. Like, like, you know, I, I like he, he. I remember he congratulated me when I was like, you know, I'm sick of the fucking like the 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 p word stuff. I'm sick of all that. I think I, want, I think it should be a regular talk show. How I envisions Howard Stern just plain funny, right? Um, if, if, if you guys find me that way and I appreciate it if you do, um, that, that's it. And he was like, really nice to me. He's like, you know, that's kind of what I want to do too. I was like, I get it. I get it. I don't like where, where the community is going. But what I see from him is like, he's the one that can't leave the community. You know, like, yeah, you know, and then I didn't leave. I didn't even leave. I just said, look, I'm not doing this shit anymore. Decide if you want it, want it. And you know, in fact, I'm going to make fun of it. I'm going to make fun of what I don't like about it, you know, and not out of like, hatred he seems to it's a little concerning he doesn't need he need, he doesn't need to be the community it's it's almost like a like an ex crazy ex-boyfriend like if i can't have you nobody can <laughs> yeah like with that stunt that he tried to <laughs> to pull with with keffels make no mistake about that yes it was a joke but it was designed to destroy credibility yes it, it really was, was yeah. for the joke yeah so it was designed so that that is under fucking handed um I, I don't think these guys did anything to you that warranted destroying their reputations. 
Like this gay op, and it's the gayest of all gay ops. It's not even good. It's like, like, like Kraut laughs at you, Tips. <laughs> you know? with, with, with the, he, I mean, he got hit for gay ops that he didn't even do. You know, it's a gay op between a transgender woman and an obese man. Those never yeah. work out. Yes. So I, I don't, I don't really understand. Let's go to that gay op. What do you say? Uh, what do you say, yeah. uh, buddy? Do it. I think uh, Tipster's jealous of Kefos. What, 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 why? Because he wants to have his beautiful breast as Kefos. <laughs> Kefos does kind of look like a girl there, though. You, you were telling me offline that it's, it's all angles and shit, right? Yeah, I mean, it's all, I think it's all angles and stuff. Like, from what she looked like eight you months ago. You told me that is, is like still now. photo there. I say, oh, that's a girl. Yeah, oh. yeah, I mean, she looks like a girl for yeah, sure. Yeah. But I'm saying, it's like, a lot of it has to do with angles and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you met her in person, you'd be like, in oh. In fairness, that's real women, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, she's a real woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. She's doing everything she needs to do to she's be a woman. not a real woman. She's a transgender woman. real woman is born as a woman. I ain't gone to that shit. Fuck, yeah, I'll be nice. Be I'll use your pronouns, but I'm not denying reality. You can go fuck off. <laughs> um, here we go. Hey everyone, so I'm recording this video away from my computer right now because I'm in the process of packing. And Even the voice kind of fooled me. Uh -huh. That voice can go both ways. It's crazy. It could go like teenage boy or girl or a deep, deep, uh, a deep voice girl. Go both ways. Moving to Ireland, but there's been a situation that just came up recently with Tipster. So if you don't know who Tipster is, Tipster is some guy who was part of the commentary community. He got into a bunch of drama, he left, everyone got pissed at him, and I felt bad for him because I know like a lot of the people that- He didn't leave. That's another misnomer. He's still very, very active in the drama <laughs> community. That's like a total misnomer. He used to be friends with were all really, really shitty people. They're Nazi adjacent. Yeah, one of them even lives in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, they're all on Twitter defending Leafy for making Holocaust jokes, saying that trans people need to be rounded up and put into concentration camps. I'm not joking. That's a funny joke. Did he really say that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Oh, did he? Jesus. And I thought our friendship was going well. And then someone sent me this leak DM. Keffels is starting to piss me off. Everyone is talking about how she's pro-deplatforming. And I'm starting to think they might be right. Eventually, you got to admit. Well, first of all, how is that a private conversation? We all know that's the case. <laughs> and so it's Destiny, by the way. So you're a good company. All that crying Destiny. That's another one. All that crying Destiny did after getting kicked off of Twitch. And fucking, he's like, he did, he did the same thing as soon as he could. Too funny. If enough people are saying it, it's got to be true, right? Maybe I fucked up. So I think I might not associate with her anymore. Tomorrow, I'm going to confront her about her toxic behavior. And if she doesn't accept my criticism, well, she better get ready. I'm not putting up with her shit anymore. So fucking tired of getting fucked over, man. Believe me, I've been through enough of this shit with my DMs getting leaking. I can't believe I fell for this. <laughs> like, looking back. You know what it is? I didn't listen to it. I just saw her throwing him under the bus, and I didn't bother listening to anything else. And I was like, that's funny. That was quick. Yeah. You know, that's all I wrote. I've been through enough of this shit with my DMs. Well, the thing is, I didn't fall for it and then, like, double fucking. I was like, I said, that's kind of weird. <laughs> and then, like, double down and go on and on and tell me, like, you know, somebody wrote me. is like, dude, this is total bait. You know, because they actually listen to this horse shit. Because, like, I know that's not tipsters, right? Like, that's not the way he writes. That's not the way he talks. Leaked. Might as well be AI. being told how much I cheat on my wife. All I want to do is get away from all this drama. Like, it seems like no matter what I do... Although that does sound believable. I want to get away from the drama and still stays in the drama. That would be consistent with what we've seen from Tipster in the past. Because you know, like, Tommy, if you want to get away from drama, you should start talking about transgender people. Yes. There's no drama there. It's all science. No drama there. It's all easy going there. It's all smooth sailing there. The other thing is about Tipster. Like, her, her arc is over. It's it's This is the other end of the the, the peak. I don't think she's having it. You, and you noticed it with Leafy. Like, she's like, oh, I, I always wanted a ratio of this, and it didn't happen. And I think yeah. that was, that, that. this is the first bump on the road for her. So it's funny, Tish is throwing her to somebody. I mean, I don't know how much is going to be left. It's kind of a, a dead thing. People are actually openly rebelling about, you know, these transgender issues in, in, in our regular life. The normies are starting to rebel. 
you know, for, you know, forget you know some anti SJW skeptic <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> you know, it's the, the the public at large, you know, are 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 about tired of their uh, preaching and shoving their shit down your throat. It's not like you know, it's not it's it's not one of these things like well. I'm transgender in this way. I want to live my life. Accept it or don't. It's accepted or else. As Jordan Peterson once said, once they come for the fourth pronouns, they'll attack your blood white. And that's the last. <laughs> thing. He was a very prophet, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. <laughs> Always end up in the same shit. Damn, dude. Tipster, I literally stuck my neck out for you. Like what? Like what neck? <laughs> like what are you talking about? I wish he said I, I stuck my tits in the line for you. That would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I literally put my, my, my 20k tips off for grabs, you know? <laughs> I introduced you to all my friends, even though you're kind of like a creepy chaser, man. Like, you slide into my trans friends' DMs, and you, you're you way too funny. <laughs> like... Yeah, if you just took that one part, it'd be funny. By the <laughs> way, like... no one was calling Tipster Chaser until this. Now she's an evil it. cunt, oh, yeah. by the way. She's evil. You can see the manipulation. Well, you know what I predict? I, you know what I thought she might do? Like, because the whole thing kind of backfired because everybody figured it out, except me. Um, everybody figured it out as bait immediately. I thought she might really actually throw him under the bus just to, to keep up the front, you know, which is pretty funny. There's obviously yeah. something going on there. It's really not cool. I showed you my dick, Ellis Assassin. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Well, I don't get that. How do you, so it's not cool that Tripstar likes transgender people. Okay, so do you want them to hate transgender people? What the fuck is she on about? Yeah, I don't, I don't get the feeling she's very. I good. think she's just a stupid bitch. Well, the idea was to get us to because we're like, hey, you know, she's kind of a Nazi and. uh you know, she'll she'll throw you under the bus. So what they did is they pretended that she was throwing him under the bus. And then like it, 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 it was supposed to They were like, hoping that Augie would jump on it, that Bo Blacks would jump on it, uh, that uh, everybody was starting to And nobody cares all it. that much. They just find him a little irritating. And here's the thing with him. So like nobody hates him really. Like I think the worst are that he's irritating and they don't believe that he's uh, um an advocate. They don't think he's sophisticated enough to be in these so-called debates that, that he doesn't believe in anything. And I gotta be honest with you now, I was thinking about like my situation with him and then this and how he flipped from when I first met him. I, 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 I don't think, and I think, I think other people realize that too. Uh, th th this to me has never been like some sort of awakening, political awakening. I don't, I, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't think he's that bright. I don't think he's that sophisticated to be even that interested in, in this. And like, well, the only reason like people take, Kevil's crazy is because she actually is a transgender person and 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 that he's just like he's just not cut out for for this i i wouldn't yeah. believe him if he say if you know if he told me he was a nazi tomorrow and 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 dressed up with his little right red flag on his right shoulder i wouldn't believe him like this is just so <laughs> fake it's this has always fake, been you know? annoying uh, we just kind of put up with him because he was, you know, that, it's just tipster. He's just emotional. He's tipster. I don't think like, like, anybody hated his guts. Yeah. I mean, I certainly didn't. But it's just like, it, it, it does, it does, it does kind of creep me out. Like, because I have nothing to do with this. And I'm not really one of the guys that in the commentary community that I think that, you know, she wants a piece of and, and tipster wants to throw on a book for, for God. But, but it is kind of weird that, you know, like how. Like everybody kind of supported him, and as soon as he got the chance, which is exactly what he did to me, when he uh, what, he, what he did to me when you know the hard right guys were turning on me with with Medicare. So I, I can't. I don't think this is. You know, I, I was sticking up for a friend, you know, and he was just like, "Old Tom, Tommy Sock is going down." So and then like, all right, it's the first time I let it go, um, but the second time, no, and 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 it wasn't it wasn't directed at me this time. It was just, it was trying to get Nick and Augie or something. I don't know, man. Tell you one thing about Tipster. You're saying he doesn't have expertise. I would definitely trust the guy if he recommended me something off the McDonald's menu. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I'm just like really disappointed. I like McRib, by the way. Because maybe my problem <laughs> is that I'm too forgiving. Yeah, that's it. I yeah, yeah. You're a forgiving, nice person that cares about people. Yeah. yeah. She's the real yeah. half old yeah, you're, you're just an old soul. 
<laughs> One thing that's real about her being a woman is she's a vicious, vapid cunt. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they really vouch for him, and then he ends up saying this shit about me. Like, the, the deplatforming stuff. Like, deplatforming. his friends right now are literally defending someone saying that trans people should be put in concentration camps, making direct references to Holocaust. And he's going on about pro-deplatforming. Fuck off, dude. This... That really doesn't help your argument. So basically, those guys that are evil say you shouldn't deplatform in any purpose. And how dare they say I'm a pro deplatformer? Look, I'm trying to deplatform them. I mean, what the fuck was that? Dumb. I can't, I can't even get her fucking this. act together. I mean, ugh. See the full way this video shot? It's like the fucking intro for the niche porn video. Expected. This is like a snuff film. She's expecting <laughs> something bad to happen at any moment. This is why no one likes you. I'm glad that you have no friends. Anyway, I don't really. Well, if he goes back to doing video games, I'll watch his videos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like. I, I love when he does classic gaming. Yeah, he used to be a retro game. game commentator. Now he's debating trans rights. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, really, is he equipped for that? I'm not. No, he's not equipped at all. None of us are. Yeah. None uh, of us are fucking I don't, I, don't, I don't even think um, uh, <laughs> she is. Or um, Cavill's is. I think she's just doing it's like... Like even if you're like a baseball player. Like if you're, if you're, like if you're a carpenter, it doesn't mean you're an architect. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not here to debate whether children should be put on puberty blockers or not. Oh, I don't want to have no debate. debate for me, but I'm not definitely not here to do it. <laughs> See, yeah. to be honest, guys, I, I have to disagree. I'm, I was going to allow my child to like not do that, but then Tipster really did change my mind. I really <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Take yeah. Take puberty blockers. He's really, he really figured this whole thing out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't want to debate whether trans titty milk is uh, has yeah, enough protein for I know, I saw that. Baby. It was hysterical. I, just, I don't want to do that. And he's being such a reply guy about it. It is just, it is funny. And then he brought in the asshole. He had <laughs> lyrics back from the dead. Tipster, oh, you guys, I, I told you guys hard. Me and Gotham, Mommy Kevils destroyed you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, speaking of, uh, if you'd like to donate to the show, you can do it below. I do appreciate... Uh, what is it called? Streamlabs? Because I get the money directly. Yeah. So I appreciate Stream it. Streamlabs. Streamlabs would be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, so what's this about? Tipsters. Kevl's deleted this tipster exposed. What are you talking about? He, uh, he deleted the video. What video? She deleted the video. Oh, she deleted the video. Did you just deleted. watched the video. Just oh, watched. that video just watched. That's funny. I guess it didn't work. Yeah, no, it didn't work. Mike the Bike, our favorite mental health advocate, is told by someone who claims to struggle with being heard in regards to their own mental health issues. What? That's so the best part about okay. this situation was that when Tipster was trying, still trying to trick everybody, he did the whole, uh, "Guys, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to take a mental health break. I'll be back. I'll be back later or something like that." He did that tweet. Something he does like every time he gets into like a fucking situation, he's trying to make it look as realistic as possible, and still nobody fell for it. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to sound horrible, but like Tipster could go put his face in a meat grinder in the middle of the woods and the world would be no different. Stop. You can't appearances are off off uh, can't do appearances unfortunately. Is that appearance? I've just yeah, said he should appearance. stick his face in a meat grinder, I'm not uh, saying anything about his face. Whatever. Stay away from it. What's this shit? So I mean that the whole mental health game was bait, all of it, not accusing you fake into the it was a prank, very obvious it was a prank. But why, like, if it's a prank and all in good fun, like, why would you want to, like, like, uh, like, if it's obviously aimed at, like, Nick and Augie, uh, specifically, maybe even Bobax, if you want to get away from those people and that type of environment, that toxic environment, why would you be like, let's, let's be, let's have some playful bants. Let's play a playful trick. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. No, it was designed to destroy them. It was designed, designed to get the rep. And, yeah. and nobody fell for it. That's all it was. That's, that's, a, that's like a lie. Um, it's not fake old mental health stuff. I get the community treated you badly. Like, what was done to him that was so bad? I remember, all I remember is there was a bunch of jerk-offs like fucking Connor that would bitch about his dirty talk with E-girls. Which, by the way, this person never did it. I don't think, I think Augie laughed at it, which he has every right because it's hysterical. Um, and then so did, so did Nick. That's treating you awful? 
Like what what else, what, what what was he done what was done to him that was so awful? Like all the stories Frank, that he was given over the years, all the money that that, that partnership that, that that he made over the last two or three years. Yeah. Like what what what? How was he treated terribly? How was he treated like different than everybody fucking else? I'll tell you why. He wasn't. If anything, he was treated better because every time he went up and did something incredibly stupid, nobody said, well, I don't want to be seen with Tipster and I'll, I'll separate myself from them. That's treating somebody like shit in this world. Nobody did that. If Tipster would ask anybody to be on their show or this, that, the other, they would have come on. Like, who are you kidding? You know, this is an attack on them. This is not an attack on Tipster. And this is a gay op in the clearest form. Okay, fake mental health stuff. Your community treated you badly. But why would you do this? You're really reaching. Why? Why is she? Why is this person really reaching? This is exactly what happened. You faked a mental health day. It was generally a fake drama prank. Get a clue. But that's not the point. It makes people like me think of others who struggle not to be heard or believed. That's an interesting way to look at it, but fuck off because you can make a mental health joke. But yeah, I can get why she kind of felt that way. And that's the thing. Tips are surrounded. No, no, this person's right. I'm wrong. This person is like, I don't give a shit. You can joke about anything. You can prank about anything. I don't really give a shit. It's like, well, I have mental health problems, so therefore you're making a joke. I shut the fuck up. You know, make a joke out of anything. But in a sense, tip I don't fucking placate to that part of the internet. Ever. He does. He does. Yeah. So, yeah. So, she's kind of calling him out as a hypocrisy. I care about people's mental right. health. I don't. I could care less. I got my own fucking problems. <laughs> you know? I do care about people's mental health, mainly that they may use it to attack me. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like I don't want to get anybody, anybody to get better. It's just like, Jesus Christ. What do you want me to do? I'm not going to sit there going to the internet and Twitter and act like I know shit. Because I'm regurgitating whatever I heard. Like, how lame is that? He told me it's just a prank, though. <laughs> I didn't involve mental health, though. Yes, you did. You literally said, leave me alone. I'm struggling. Please, it wasn't part of the prank. It's a little funny. Yeah, because we're doing a prank about friendship falling out. How hard is that? Why are we doing a prank for friendship falling out? I don't know if that shit has been mentally fucked. Yeah, that's exactly right. This that person, doesn't, that this doesn't person, like a prank. This person is like, yeah, it's because doing a prank of friendship falling out. How hard is it to understand? She understands completely. Wait, he's a really deceptive debater. I mean, like, how could he ever debate? Like, uh, and before I go on, here's what you said. Going out for a bit, shit has to be mentally fucked. I'm kind of just want to be left alone. Yeah, so, it, yeah, literally knew what you meant. And then you placate to them. You can't even play a go, Joe, because you placate to fucking leftoid losers. What's this? Something got deleted. Oh well. Oh well, shit. Um, this I can't wait to comment on. Um, Bobak's better start taking care of himself. He's gonna have fucking heart problems like I do. Um, some of the most fun I've ever had online is interacting with the community drama on RERFC streams, with Nick and Tom and other commentary community channels. The community I uh, and the community I built on my main channel has enabled me to make a living off of reading tweets. Why would I ever want to leave? And what he's exp uh, um, experiencing is Tipster sent a direct message. Who is this to? Who leaked this on him? Uh, one of the goth mummies. See, he just, does he just trauma dump on them all the time? You can't trauma dump. And yes. To keep he trauma so, dumps on them all the time. Yeah, yeah he, probably, so you know, he, knows, he probably gets stabbed in the back so much by those bitches that he thinks it's okay to stab people in the back. He'll know, know a girl for like a week. Or less than a week, and then tell right. them her, his like all of his like issues. You know what? I, I got a better idea. And I'm being deadly fucking serious. Get a hooker. I was actually going to say that. Yeah, get a hooker. I mean, I think it's like, like, get, get a hooker. I mean, yeah. don't tell anybody. Don't like just get a hooker. Can you, be, you can imagine being that? Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Tell the broad ahead of time you like to talk, and just get, and, and just talk to her, and then bang her, and then get it out of your system. Yeah, that's cheating on your gonna... wife, but here's here be the other trick. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't I was going to say, like, also the, the problem is, Tommy, yeah. you're tell... less likely to get caught. He'll tell okay. somebody. Problem... And not only that, he'll write it out. <laughs> Tommy, the problem is this. Not... He'll, he'll do that, right? Yeah. He'll do that. He'll get the hooker. He'll do all that. And then he'll go back to his goth mommies and tell them he got a hooker. Yeah, yeah. 
And they'll say, like, wow. And they'd be like, which one? I might know her. <laughs> and then they'll say, and then they'll fucking DM Nicholas Diorio and be like, did you hear Nick, uh, t- did you got a hooker? Yeah. Can you imagine being that chronically online that your preferred choice of cheating and sex worker is an eagle? Instead of just a prostitute. Yeah, so like, I mean, what, happened to, like what happened to tradition? Okay, what happened to good old fashioned tradition? Yeah. Like, you fuck a prostitute and cheat on your wife's yeah, tipster. Really. And if you worry yeah. about like AIDS and stuff, like fly to Germany, they test them over here. Fucking... Yeah, of all the health problems tipster has, AIDS would yeah, just be a bonus at this point. AIDS might immunize. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Might lose some fucking weight. So anyway, Tipster I want to this. This, uh, I feel like weird outlook on is a lot like me. He wants out, but he doesn't. I believe that too. I think Bobax wants out. I don't buy this fucking explanation. I think Bobax is as bad as Tipster. I think like he sees Tipsters losing socks. And he's jumping on him. He's made a couple changes, but uh, Bobax has changed a few things. He doesn't seem to in, in, in influence. Who wants to read tweets forever? I wouldn't. I don't want to do the same thing forever. I'm, by the way, it's not even a knock on Bobax. Yeah, I think probably at some level he wants out, but he also seems a chance like this is what he lives for is dunking on somebody. So. He's saying it's not the truth. I think Tipster's right. I think Tips. I, I, I've I, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest. With you. I've gotten this feeling. And I, by the way, everything Bobak said it was true. He did build this community, and he did a lot, and made a nice living for him. He's got he got a nice car out of the whole deal. But you know what? It's it's like putting that shit together is tedious, and he does a good job. He does. I like those videos. I like Twitter verses. It's excellent. I think he's t- well. I think what Tips is trying to say is he wants out. Like he wants to like be out with Augie and shit. And I don't think that, I don't think Bobax wants to like stop hanging out with Augie no, or Nick. Really really so. He might, I, no, he wants out as far as. He wants no, he to maybe try change new content. content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's I, but that's what I thought. He, he wants to do content. Sure. Why wouldn't he? But, and, and like, why would you say this? Because Bobax will fucking dump, dunk on you as soon as he gets a chance. He does it every time with me. Because yeah. Tipster didn't change his content. He just took, he just, Got away from like Augie and those guys, but not really. But still, so like that's what he, I think he's just projecting himself on a Bo Blacks. Another successful John Pond's prediction. Who's next? You. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Fantastic. That's great. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> John saw thinks he's a genius because he's, he's like, see, the thing is, everybody knows that John's a piece of shit, right? And they're just fine. Like, you're just waiting. And most, most YouTubers are garbage. They're complete garbage. Look, but no, the thing is, that prediction wasn't that great. Everyone knew that Tipster was one bad day away yeah, from, like, being criticized by the whole community. Yeah. What happened to Slappy over here? His camera went out. Um, your camera went out, stupid. Probably the internet went out or something. Yeah, probably. It's the middle of a major European city. Yeah, I think somebody came in and shot off the place. Look at this. Look at that. Where are you? I had family issues. I fixed it now. Family issues? What? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. I got an emergency phone call there, but it's okay. Should yeah, be. all right. You want to go? It's okay. I'm no, no. Bearing. It should be okay. It should be okay. okay. I'm going to just restate my camera, though, sorry. <laughs> I thought somebody came in and started breaking shit. That would have been funny, too. <laughs> I probably would have, I would have cut him off. I, would have, I couldn't do that to somebody. It's bad enough. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I had a family issue. Sure. I actually got a phone call from, from Tipster asking if I wanted to fuck a prostitute. <laughs> Go to Europe. It's cheap. States are expensive when you get AIDS. <laughs> cheap. All right. Since the person who leaked this wants me to leave the context out and make me look bad, here's a full combo. I never. Said a negative word about Bobax. Yeah, I don't think what you said was negative. I still no one took it that way. Yeah, no one took it. He's a retard. He's been there for me through a lot of shit, and I wouldn't do that. And he would fucking cut your throat as soon as he could. As soon as he could, whenever he could, however he could, he'd do it to me too, and he has. Um, I like Bobax on his own. He's so nice. I've seen his videos. Um, but people like Nick. Uh, being so mean to him for no reason. He fucking, like, w- first of all, he's not mean to Bobax for no reason. Bobax is incredibly fucking annoying, and Nick has incredible patience until he doesn't. Like, who are you kidding? Like, I was going to say. You know, you know, you know, you know your retards think that everybody's just got to put up with your retardedness, and, like, forever, and we all got to pretend it's normal? Really? Really? Yeah. Because I don't know, like, when fucking shitface over here fucking gets on my nerves, I tell him. It's just right? a lot. Right, Green Man? 
Yeah, yeah, I've been abused and shot from the pit yes. many times, okay? Yeah, well, actually, more. Even Reese, even privately. Like, shut up! Yeah. I was going to say, if you on. think there's no reason to make fun of blowbacks, take one look at the guy. <laughs> yes. Right, that's enough reason. There you go. You're a funny guy. Like, who are you kidding? I feel like Bobo's a lot like me, even once out. Oh, my. Who doesn't like? Uh, who doesn't he like? They seem to be like best friends. Oh no, I'm not saying oh, that's a sure thing. Just kind of get the vibe from him. Bobek's a good dude. Love the guy. Oh, yeah, I agree. He seems a lot nicer. Yeah, what a bitch for leaking on Tipster. I got to be honest with you. That's kind of that's a very cunty thing. He probably should have. Th he probably should know. There's more context to this. She feel like but, but what did Bobex do? He went right to the public. <laughs> <laughs> Awful! Everything's yeah. awful. There's no difference. Just I'm not, I'm not much better. You probably can think of one or two rotten things I've done. No nah, man, but all these people like self-destruct. Like they're, they're literally bigger on like the own Jew's issues. Good. Jew's good. I think Mood is all right. Who else do I know? N name YouTuber. Oh, Max. Okay. Willie Max normal. Uh, Nicholas. Gloria. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick's normal. Nick, 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 Nick would never fucking like. You have to push him to do something. It on Dave. He's a complete piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> His girlfriend called me racist. <laughs> Je Je Jeff Hoffman. Who? Yeah, he's supposed Jeff to be here today. Where the fuck is he? Jeff Hoffman. <laughs> Poor Dave. <laughs> Poor Dave. Yeah, you guys should Oh, so what? the fucking, the person who leaked it is now admitting to it. I sent it to Matt Pitt while we were talking about Tipster, who then oh, sent it to Bo Blacks. I didn't know it would be tweeted out. Yeah, why are you saying, <laughs> why are you laughing yourself? Yeah, I sent, what do you think Matt sent does? It, I sent it to Bo Blacks, and Bo Blacks tweeted it out. Immediately. He didn't like, hey, yeah. Tipster, like, is there any more context to this? Because this really bothers me. <laughs> no, he goes to the public. <laughs> 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 uh, good. I, I like that. What's this horse shit? I mean, who's this broad? What am I looking at? Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, that is oh Ico. God. She's been uh, A-logging Edwin for the past um, two months. What's A-logging? Uh, I'm too much of a Re Reporting on Edwin for the past two months obsessively. Um, and she, the, a clip has been leaked to her about what happened in the cat room between Edwin and uh, Babs. The cat room? So she's a stalker? I thought it happened in a car. No, see, and I don't even know why I brought this shit up. You have no idea what's going on. No, what's going on? Tell me. The fucking, uh, apparently there was like a physical, there was an alleged physical altercation in the, the, in the cat room when they, when they went to the house after the cat, or after the car. Between who? Salvo and a dude or? No, what? not Sal. Salvo's out of the picture now. Edwin okay. and Babs. The car ride happened. Salvo goes home. Edwin and Babs drive to Babs' place. Okay. During that, uh, during that situation, um, Babs and Edwin get drunk. <clears throat> uh, uh, Edwin uh, and Edwin punches her jokes. in the face. <laughs> no. Edwin makes a few jokes on Xylee's stream. Babs doesn't like that. They have an argument, and now the now the uh, situation is that Babs claims that Edwin like like got in her face, and then Edwin says Babs got in my face, but I stood my ground. Stand your ground. <laughs> it's like what was that movie about the hooligans? Give me the Chelsea smile, mate. <laughs> mate. Edwin's getting all hyped up, right? We stick it to these Frankfurt bastards. So who's this? Is she, she's, she's Asian, right? Let's check. Yeah. How old is she? Oh, fuck it, I say obviously, Tommy, like for fuck's sake. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how old she is. I won't say anything. No one Asian, she could be anywhere between the age of 20 and 57. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Not to sleep in this room. Okay, number two. I'm slumbering, right? Is, is he crazy to say that Babs is a little nutty too? Is that is that like? No, that's not long? crazy at no, all. That's no, perfectly like, sane to say. <laughs> like all of them, maybe, maybe Edwin and Babs <clears> and, <throat> and Salvo are just a little kooky, you know? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Got it. It got it because what happens when you put a bunch of a kooky people together? Kooky stuff happens. <clears throat> You think it would? You you think it's a bad idea to go hang out with a girl you met on fucking Instagram when you're a fucking YouTuber? Oh, it, it seems perfectly sane to me. <laughs> yeah. 
Jesus. Well, I do. I, I've met a few fans here for drinks when they're in town. You go stay with them for a week, Tommy? No. I get drunk. Rest my and, case. I get drunk and I get out of there before they notice how drunk I am. <laughs> I did. I a few soldiers came. Well, sometimes people come. You know, what's his name? Vegetable Erection was supposed to come, which I was a little afraid about. I don't know if he's a psycho. Those are dudes. Yeah, that's true. You're married well, also. Yeah, that's true. I know where the hoes at, though. Good fucking green man fucking around with his shit. Doesn't know what he's doing. It's funny. I'm falling asleep <laughs> on my floor. Right. Teamstar asked you earlier to tell this story, which is... Look at the boob cam. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> a fun story to everyone okay and you are gonna make it all weird right are they both intoxicated at this stage yes yes yep after i'm how come like when i went out drinking i just went home and banged a chick and we woke up together and maybe i regretted it maybe i didn't maybe she did and that's the end yeah. of it that was like the end of it what I happened so, I so. you're like stuck like being in glasgow you're stuck in the old times you know, you like, yeah, I don't, I don't like, think, I think things are still kind of normal there. Yeah. Oh, they even, it hasn't got a woke yet. <laughs> I'm not, it has got woke, right? But it's just got Scottish Yeah, woke, but not where you live. Not, not, not yeah. in your social circle. I bet it didn't. Oh, you're going to make that little break here or whatever. Okay, like three hours later, when I'm over all this shit, I'm being... Because if I'm hearing this, I slept with this broad, I'm just like, can I pretend I'm asleep? Can I get out? What could I, could I make a break for the door if she goes to the bathroom? You know, that's what I'm thinking. Fine, whatever with you. You're gonna make it weird. Okay? You're not gonna stand up for me, whatever, whatever. Hours later, when you know, I was just trying to trick a pity shop. What? I was just Alright, trying... here we go. <sighs> Alright, so at, during the party at the Keemstar show, there's, um, Kristen Ark was offered a titty shot in which the shot goes in between the tits and you take the shot. Nice. Uh, Kristen Ark uh, declined the titty shot, and Salvo, Edwin, and Babs were like, "Come on, you don't want a titty shot." Come you know on, why? You on. know why? You know why Kristen Ark um, declined the titty shot because he knew there was no good that could come from it. <laughs> oh, you can't tell you. Now, is 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 it, you know, this is the thing? I think a lot of people are diagnosed autistic that aren't. I don't think an autistic guy would ever turn that down in a million years, but he's like, so, I don't know about that. What? Yeah. When they get back, Edwin goes on stream with Zylie. Zylie starts asking about the titty shot. Everyone's joking around, making jokes. Can't Edwin makes a few jokes Can't about uh, Babs uh, getting a twit longer written on her by uh, Chris and Ark. Huh. It was a joke. It was an obvious joke. Babs didn't like that stuff. And this, like, and I guess that that's what kind of caused the fight, the rift, the fight. Bab, Babs is not, Bab, like I don't know what Babs is, or I think people have called her a liar and all sorts of names. Here's what I know about Babs: she's not fun to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a truth. This is not up for debate. Uh, this is objectively true. Like Babs is no fun. And yeah, we pushed him a little bit. Of course, we were all having fun. No, you weren't. No, no, no. You weren't having fun because other people were having fun. Take a titty shot, take a titty shot. But you guys were being way worse than me. Why is it the girls that are in the titty shots and do it? Like, all the girls I had, like when I was in college, that you know took their shirts off and fucking stuff like that, they all can handle it. How come nobody can handle that anymore? Like, that's the thing that's totally crazy. I don't get understand. Oh, does she need the titty shot? Like, they pour the liquor off her boobs? No, they put like the shot cup in. No, it's in the cleavage. And you put the shot cup in between the tits, and then like she bends over, and you put your face in the tits to take the mm. shot cup. <laughs> Yeah, yeah like, why would you ever say no to that now? I've never done that, actually. That's a great time. Yeah, I know. I, we had the belly button stuff, not the... Yeah, yeah, I think you did that one, yeah. Okay. I was like, yeah, take a take shot. And he didn't want to? You know who showed him to where he could sleep? Me. You know who checked on him? Imagine being in lecture with this stuff. Like, I can... I, I, I would literally be like... I, I like... I'd be grinding my teeth down to nothing, just listening to her. <laughs> Me. Okay? So I'm just confused on to why you're not setting up for me. One. It's a fun story to everyone. Including I, I don't even understand. Like, what, 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 is she, what is he not standing up for her? He said no. He didn't want to take a shot. That's the end of the story, right? What happened? Well, no, the fucking... Again, Edwin went on Xylee's stream and was making jokes, and said stuff like, oh, well, fucking Chris and Ark's gonna ride twit longer on Babs, ha ha ha. You know, stuff like that. And it got, she misconstrued that as him, like, throwing her under the bus, Because basically. she's no fun. 
Is it okay to have the takeaway that all these people are pathetic? Yes. Team Brandon, okay, you are probably lost. pressed whenever it's brought up on Siley's stream. Like, you have no solid opinion. It's so weird. It's, it's just wild to me. That I had to actually... And you got big with me in my own home. So glad I, I'm so glad I was born in the 70s. I really am. You know, I feel like my um, my my World War II joke, my step-grandmother, right? Um, mm -hmm. I, she was, you know, she World War II, her husband died, uh, you know, in, uh, in the 70s. Um, and I asked her, I remember it was, it was just like 99, something like that. I was like, well, wouldn't you want to be young now? And she's like, no. <laughs> and she was only a couple of years away from dying. And it's like, what do you mean? Because like, everything's fucking complicated. Because, and this is when I was like in my 20s. And she went through all these fucking things. And it's like, it was so much easier to be young when I was a kid. And I'm like, I think I feel that way now. And she was talking about my generation. I mean, I like, feels like I, I, I totally don't wish I was your age. I miss the parties. I miss, I, I, here's what I miss meeting new girls. I don't miss it in the sense that like, I don't love my wife, but I, I miss that. Party I you miss the, you miss the joy. I miss film. the hunt. I don't even miss the girls. It's not like, uh, I, it's oh, I need to, yeah. like I need to be with someone. I have, I have everything I want in that department, but, um, yeah, I miss that for sure. I think I'll always there's miss a that. Buzz. There's a I think, buzz. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a high going to especially in Europe. It's just it's just so cool. And I do miss that from time to time. And I, but you know what I also do? Whenever I see like a troops downtown or a guy pick up a chick, like a couple seats next to me, I'm like, Yeah, get him. You know, I I can root for other people too, you know. I'm I'm, I'm like retired. Yeah, yeah, it's on yeah. yourself, bro. And uh he's like none of these guys can handle the simplest joys in life because they're joyless. I think it's just chronically online people. I don't yeah, think I it know. affects normal Clearly. people. Clearly. Yeah, you're probably right. Because when I go into like my call center, like you no know what? I, like I'm just that. gonna pretend everybody's like this. How about this? Don't fuck up my show. Yeah, just do, yeah, do. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier if I can play it. You know? you think with me. Like, no. No, hell no. Hell. No, I'm actually so mad. I'm actually so fucking mad. You know what? You know what I would do if I were on one. Green man, I was sleeping. I would do this. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That's what I would do. Do you know what, Tommy? Tommy, you don't even do that, okay? You don't. You don't give them that level of communication. You just go up, silently look at them. What the sh? Right? That's you. I can't take any more of this. It's gonna give me a heart attack. I like pulsations. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's let's get his side of the story. Well, okay, so I don't have his side in the sense that this is just the stream he did. He All did right. an emergency stream when that For clip what? was released. I don't have timestamps or anything, but yeah. So was he um, supposed to drop a video or something? <laughs> yeah, he's he's going to be dropping the video soon, yeah. soon, mm. soon. Apparently he's been showing it off to like people in the Discord. It's a stuff. killer. Yeah. Yeah. He offered to show it to me, and I was like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. I'll watch it when it comes out. <laughs> I don't need fucking people in the Discord. I don't think it's like, an emergency. I don't think it's an emergency. Okie dokie. Test, test, okay, chat. Okay. Let me know when you when you hear me when we're here. We're doing an emergency. You know, I picked a bad time to leave the drama community. It's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> stream here. All right, we're doing a little live. And uh, obviously, as all of you guys know, I've been working on a video based on someone that I met that's decided to just like dedicate their online life around me. At least that's what it seems like, right? Um, that does happen to him a lot. In fairness, what he's, a it, uh, he's a half. Steve Lee, Steve Lee, had it. his whole life to him. He does. It does seem to happen to him a bit. Despite how much they say that they don't want to be talked about and and they're sick of being talked about, and sh a tipster. <laughs> it's like they keep cycling, cycling my name and, and just and, and feeding information to one particular streamer <laughs> that that's been doing weekly streams about me for over two months now. And that's the Asian chick. Is she mad at him? Like, what's? Like what's Bro, her, what's hold her back? I don't really get it. She like did one stream where Evan tried to call in and she like caught him trying to change the story or something. And ever since then she's been like on his case. Huh. And her whole thing is like, I'm going to look into your whole thing because she you you pin. say you never change your story, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Let's, let's take a look at these. Are these live okay, let's see. Uh, Do you know the one thing I live. Can, yeah. Do you know the one thing I, I know like about this person? Akiko. Akiko rules. Okay. I don't know anything about him, but I know... In a sense. 
Akiko. She, oh, she's Akiko. She's probably Japanese. I was going to say, Aiko. she definitely Aiko. has a, mo- Aiko? She definitely Aiko. has a Aiko. mother Aiko. that's severely disappointed in her. Aiko. I don't know anything Aiko. about Japanese. I don't, I've never, I've only met Japanese people in San Oh, fuck. Somebody said in chat that Edwin called her a pedophile. Really? That's what someone said in chat. She's way too hot to be a pedophile. What is she doing? Sleeping with her students? Okay. <laughs> I got the time it's stamp, Tommy. For what? Wait, one sec. People are saying in chat, people are saying in chat that she's a pedophile. A bit. Edwin called her a pedophile, but she's not. Okay. People are saying that in chat. All right, what do you got, uh, Maddie? I, 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 uh, him explaining his side of the story with the bad stuff. I got it. I got the. Oh, oh you're going to send it? I sent it to you already. Oh, you ship it? Yeah. Ship it. Kill this Japanese girl's going to want a love in your chat. If I'm to describe in a, a visual aid. I know, man. I haven't met too many Japanese people in my life. I never. No, I have, but most of them were like in San Francisco and they were barely spoke English. I haven't met like, <laughs> American Japanese. I don't know if I can talk to them. Right? She rushed up to me and like I was walking away and then she literally <laughs> and when, I, when I turned around. Hey, Babs, uh, do you want to become my god? <laughs> yeah, tips is too funny. Uh, I just. By the way, sub, we're doing the after show after this. It just doesn't end. It never ends. It's just too fun. Sub, sync your Discord, and let's have some fun afterwards. For a little while any calls i don't take here or something like you can get them in there i'll make sure i'll guarantee you get on but you have to be like not retarded and know how discord works i stood in one one spot and i was like whoa like like this but i i, I i'm inclined to say that because i didn't i didn't you know when someone rushes up to you you have to fucking explain yourself you're already just, like maybe like a an instinct might be to be like whoa whoa i really want that mountain dew shirt but like back <laughs> off <laughs> I didn't back off. Look at the dog looking at him. His dog's like, what the fuck are you doing? Fucking Edwin out. over here yeah. fighting for his life. And you're just like, I really like that Mountain Dew shirt. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, he's trying to save his reputation. And I'm watching this fucking dog <laughs> in his Mountain Dew shirt. I just like, look at the dog. I stayed in one spot like, whoa. So I, I didn't like, I didn't like, uh, like, like this. Like, I didn't, I didn't like do like, uh, like, back up right or cross. Like, do this. So maybe that's why she thinks you I should jab twice. Her, but, like, I literally just stood in one spot, one spot. <laughs> And I never like like laid lifted anything or anything to her. I never would have ever done that. That's like not me. So that's also why it hurts so much that like she's trying to depict me at, at, as this out of desperation, right? I think he's right. I'm gonna stick up for him in this one. Even this if he like, isn't right, this Tommy sounds like he's a horseshit story. Himself into being I, wrong. Yeah, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. these people. They're all nuts. You know why? Because they have vaginas and they cannot be women can't be trusted. Well, it's like it's twisting shit, right? Yeah. You're trying to make it look like he was physical when you. When the, all the evidence you have is him not being physical with you. <laughs> Fucking up to a woman yeah, no. is not physical. Getting in a woman's face is not physical. All right? No. That's the line. That's the line you get to go to when you're in an argument with a woman. Which Getting in her face. That's all you can do. You go any farther, you fucked up. You fucked Edwin up. did not But if you gotta up. go farther, I have some advice. Here's what you do. You put your fucking, this foot right here, you put it right in the belly. And when they go over like this, you take your right arm, and then you put the <laughs> arm behind their head, and then you kick your legs out. And it's called a stone cold stunner. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah, Stone Cold did to Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else is going on? Anything? Uh, uh, let's funny. see. Um, all right. Let me. Uh, you were at. All right. So go to the. <clears throat> so underneath the the salvo part, you see the salvo part in the. Oh, the salvo. Oh, kinda, we're, we're not done. Yeah, because right, I, I just got fucking balled up. Okay, breaking my channel's been tur- what? Yeah, his channel's gone. What did he do? I don't even know. Again. Well, remember what we? I mean, we did kind of react to him saying he wants to kill Keemstar. <laughs> that said, that got him. Yeah, maybe it also could be false flags. It could be anything. He said he maybe it's just being false. He said he'd take out a gun and murder two people. To a guy that has yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I retired this week. Nice yeah, he did do a stream where he said he was retiring. So, yeah. <laughs> do you know he shot a shot at, at, at Edwin? Oh, that's Edwin so funny. Pes like... get to that sucks, but at least you quit. You probably flagged me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know if Salva's got it or not, but that's awful fucking funny. Uh, nah, Salva. You know, you know the problem. Salva was too good for this world. He was. He just is too too crazy, bro. I can honestly I, say he was crazier than Leafy. Absolutely. 
<clears throat> oh, he would have killed that security guard. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> leafy hit. He would have yeah. fucking killed him. He would have just fucking rolled back. Billy the first <laughs> be like, what are you fucking doing? Put it in reverse and then <laughs> fucking back in. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's too funny. What? Well, I thought we're done with him. Oh, it's him talking about. Okay, we hear it. Clear that I am absolutely responsible for my audience. If you want to, you know. Why don't you comb your hair? See, I mean, I dubs have the same hair. I have that curly kind of wavy hair. Like, oh my God. Dude. Do you know why I appreciate I dubs videos? Why? There aren't many people left in the world that makes me think my hair's well done. Yeah, I know. You're, you're as bad as mine. You're, ugh. you look like an old Jew. <laughs> Shalom, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Look out for people who are red flags. It's definitely people who had my mentality that say, uh, I'm not responsible for what my audience does. I completely agree. And there are so many fucking content creators out there that just leave that at the door. They like turn on, they. You know, this used to be, it's so funny. Like when, when I was a kid with like Ozzy Osbourne and Jesus Priest and like they try to blame suicide on him, people thought it was fucking insane. That it was completely insane, and it's not up to um, influencers, artists to control other people. It's it's they try like, they try to blame the uh, Columbine shootings on Marilyn Manson, on Marilyn Manson and Doom and stuff like that. And here's this generation just handing it to the powerful. You know, it's yeah. so yeah. funny. They go in their computer, they do their. What were you gonna say? Because say to be fair about Columbine, that was totally Alex Jones's fault. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Content do this, and the second they're offline, they just like let the snowball go down the hill. You are absolutely responsible for your audience and what they're saying and doing and what's happening in different discords and stuff. You have to. Isn't no it? one else can. Yeah, that's you know why you know why he's saying that because that 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 is a great justification for censorship. That's a great such uh, uh, justification to take away your human rights. Your human rights to speak. To perform, to express yourself, because if it makes somebody do something bad, we have to take some. We have to take it away from you. He's making a fascist argument. That it's also bad faith, okay? Because the only way you can yeah, actually control your like, only way you can control your audience is by telling them to do something. If someone does something, you don't do that. And how much you want to bat? How much you want to bat? Like a fucking, you know, if we find out that uh, um, that girl that killed those those Catholic kids um, was a big Keffels fan, that oh, that's a little different. How much you want to bat? There you go. Well, she's a you are friend. the mother that birthed. I wonder if Kevils worries about that because I wonder about that myself. If that was like, 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 like when they had the Hispanic guy shoot a bunch of people and he was in the Nazi stuff, we knew in ten minutes. And then I still mm. don't know what her fucking internet history was. And he was like a Hispanic guy, and they found out that he was in the Nazi stuff, and it was still it was still white people's fault at the end of the day. And we cannot find out what, what the fuck the uh, what kind of crazy shit the uh, transgender murderer was on. So crazy. No voice you're scared about that because like Destiny is like They might be on the list, yeah. But I, I got news for you. Don't be scared because it's a double standard for you. So don't worry about it. So you continue to blame other people that you disagree with to try to censor them and no one's gonna do a fucking thing, I promise. That audience, right? They are a reflection of you. It makes me No, no, they're not. And nobody no, no, nobody fucking truly knows me except people who actually know me. I'm sorry. They might think they do. They don't. Jesus Christ. No, he's making a fascist argument to take your human right as feature away. Take to think of like what you guys might say and do another channel. Why am I watching this jackass? How did he make the list? Uh, I, I, it was going around Twitter, so I figured I'd put it in yeah, the socket. Fucking total Nazi right there. Um, don't show them a Hawaiian t shirt, okay? Just go look, look at that guy one more time. Just switch. I mean, that's the types of people trying to tell you what you can I like Hawaiian shirts. Sure. How dare you? I would wear more. No, but can you imagine that guy walking up to him, your wife saying, oh, By the way, buddy, you can't say that. Like, yeah, who I, the I, I fuck are you? you do. I, I just gotta have it one day. I'm gonna be like, Fuck, what are you gonna do about it? I don't, I don't hang out anywhere. I hang out with fucking <coughs> Man City Mike. This fucking 69 year old. Soccer fan downtown. That's that's all I need. I just need Man City Mike. <laughs> yes. What are we talk about goddamn Luton Town going to Prem? That's what makes. Well, me that's, a big, that's, that's a, big a big deal. That's a big deal. Big deal. Uh, let's not go big there. Deal. Let's not go there. <laughs> Women charge. No, to Luton. Luton's a shithole. Yeah, no, Luton's a shithole. You have to walk to somebody's car to go to the stadium. Um, like uh, woman charged with uh, filming herself having sex with uh, dogs. Yes. <laughs> We're back, right. baby. 2016 era YouTube. <laughs> what kind of? I mean, we're getting obviously censored after this anyway. What kind of sex? Type I of dog. 
with a dog. I don't know. Did she have a dildo on? Was she fucking it? I don't know. I didn't go looking, Tommy. Yeah, you did. You lied. Oh, I it's did. Matt, you have that video downloaded and saved onto every Denise day Frazier, show. Denise the most annoying thing about getting out of jail is seeing how people are so judgmental. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> yes, I did it in charge with some of you. This is a goof. With some yeah, of you. I did it. it feels like it, but she was actually arrested. There's actual news <laughs> articles. I can't be real. Humanity can't. Can we just fucking... Can, can we just let China win? Yeah, maybe we should. China just take all Apple fair <laughs> Chinese smashes until I'm fucking right. God damn. But you yes, I did it in church. But some of you don't even go to church. Good point. I think she's right about that. Some of you are judging me, but God didn't judge me. At the end of the day, I'm thick, cute, and very smart. Pretty That's sure she'll be judged at the pearly gates and like they'll have a VAR yeah. fucking replay of yeah, it. I know. <laughs> Shane Peter, can you check the angle again? Yeah, yeah, oh, you, you remember like Shane Peter the gate and he's just about to stamp the pass. He's like, uh oh, hold on. VAR. We got check. VAR. <laughs> <laughs> we got to check the tape. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What's happening, Shane Peter? Well, it looks like an Alsatian got in the box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the issue I have with people on Twitter. Really, what's your issue? I have, I know for a fact that what I do with my dogs is normal. Yeah, <sighs> pedophiles feel the same way. Do you hear a Do you hear a shocking fact about this? That's it. I, I read. I watched like there's like this British TV show where they talk about random facts. Okay, yeah. and one of the news stories they're talking about is they did studies where I don't want to get into the details of how they found out, but they basically found out this is a lot more common than what you think. You okay? know what? I bet all these sexual demons is a lot more common than I think. It's like I used to think like when I was a kid in the eighties that like uh, guys that rape like little boys are a dime a dozen. You know, like they're not. Clearly, that's uh, not the case. So, do you know so what? Do you what, what why is it so hard to accept that some weird? I bet it's pretty unusual for a girl to be doing this. But that's probably uh, what do you think the numbers are girls that do this? One in one. The, the number they gave you is one out of fifty. No. Well, not I, know, I don't want to get into it. I can tell you how they found out the answer. It's pretty fucking good. Did they go to Wales? Okay. <laughs> no, they found out. I don't, I don't even want to tell you. Because yeah. it is pretty good to me. But... Well, like underground porn or something? Make no, they, money found, that way? they can basically find the traces of it and sign the person's body. No. Let's go. You're getting a little too autistic for me. No, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Bro. Bro. Some women are gonna be like, no, the dog came wanna. on to me. I don't want. <laughs> 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 All right. All right this is, it's been normal. Ask your aunts, sisters, moms, nieces. Ah, no. Hey, uh, did, did you used to fuck dogs? <laughs> Oh. My girl, fuck dog. You know, Bob, uh, Bobcat Goldway. You know, Bobcat Goldway is. Yeah, sure. He he directs like really weird movies every now. He made a movie about a, a girl who just one day just fucking gives a dog a blowjob and then admits oh, to shit. it. It's fucking. It's so weird. It's such a weird movie. Thank you, Jerry Chapter, the bitch that that bitch that summarized. There we go. When they come home from the bar and they're all alone, white girls pop dogs and their big red bone. They don't do it because it's good for their health. It's just the way white girls express themselves. <laughs> I, I really think he's one of the great artists of our time. Dr. Demento would have really loved him. Is he still alive, Dr. Demento? I don't think he is. Uh, I don't think so. I was going to say one thing, okay? Even though this girl's disgusting, she'd be the perfect girlfriend for, for uh, the, guy, um, the guy that likes Q-tips of tat cats. What's his Dr. Name? Demento is still alive, motherfucker. There he is. This, this guy discovered... Uh, um, he would love Rusty Cage. This guy discovered Weird Al. Yeah. Dr. Demento. What will we, what will we do in this world? Why? Is told, yeah. The white girls fuck dogs. All right. Um, wait a minute. Do I miss her? Did I get everything? That's it. That's oh, it. Just, oh, Girl, I done it. fuck dogs, ponies, horses. I'm a well, actually, wait. There was one thing that I, I don't have to fuck horses. You got one, one last thing. The pescatore tweet. 
And Team Sorry versus Stefan Noodles Defamation has been settled in uh, nowhere in the terms. Then there never will be. Um, yeah, I did know about this, but I didn't think it was very appropriate for a guy that's giving me a job to report on their fucking shit. <laughs> And I got it. I'm just gonna <laughs> obvious. And I don't do news anymore. So, what? American Pitbull. Yeah, I gave the real wrong talk. Hashtag oh, UFO style. You need joking. Fatosa versus. Do you know that? actually got an update for the last story. They're not going to send her to jail. They're going to send her to the kennel. So, I, mean, I guess that means Keem paid out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, yeah, maybe. Did, yeah, yeah. That means Keem paid. Um, yeah, if there's a if there's a settlement through a mediation, then yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, didn't I fucking do a video where I said I don't think he was in good shape? I wasn't rooting for him, but yeah, that's I did. I think you were there. You said that like you you said something like that. Uh, definitely was has a pretty good chance. That's what you said. I was right. Again, there you go. There's another one. I, and I didn't say that. I, I, mean, I like, wasn't trying to attack Keem because I know a lot of people thought, like, oh, here we go again. Can Tommy and Keem going at it? I just, I said that um, I thought, I thought, I thought, I didn't. The, I think the problem was with the statements is you had to have context to understand that they weren't. And I actually, I got to be honest, I went, I went to a lawyer that I know. And they told Defamation's me, hard to they prove. They told me that, you know, I don't think Keem maliciously did that Keem might be in trouble here. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah, okay. Mm. I know what Keem was trying to do, and that guy's a lying jerk off. Just letting you know, you know, just to um, finish that. So hopefully, he didn't get too much money. Hopefully, if he even if he didn't, he can go back to Daddy in Brazil, can't he? Yeah. No, I think Dennis done pretty well for himself. I think he'll be all right. Yeah, he's not oh, going to go back to the favelas. About holy crap! I really don't like doing this. Reached out. Dave clearly did this with Dave's girlfriend. <laughs> no, no. no, no. So there was a small YouTuber called Milltown who you made fun of on the last episode of uh, Shop from the Point uh, okay. because of uh, he was the guy who interviewed why so demented and demented was like, yeah, my baby died by Wait by, a minute, by the that guy my... wrote me and he said what I did, he made him laugh. Did yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, I'm I'm explaining context. Oh, so no. that guy mm. uh, did a video on this guy named Hale, and you showed some of his videos and got struck, copyright struck. And that Riveter was covering it yeah. and showed the Hales video, and now he's being copyright struck. Mm. Well, we do it. No. No, this guy's striking everybody. Well, it's a copyright strike, though. He doesn't even stop you from streaming. Well, isn't it the same, like, three, three you're out? No, you get rid of it. You see, you see, come fucking to Germany and sue my monkey ass, you bastard. And then and it all yeah. falls apart. They have to show a legal document. Just call people stuff. Really bad at explaining yeah, things. No matter, um, I always remember tips for helping out Papa Gut with only his fans, his only fans problem. Sissy nut. I don't know what that's referencing. But thank you for the your generous, generous, generous donation. Hmm. Let's start streaming games. Again. Tips to end up messaging dog girl. <laughs> Why girl fuck dog? <laughs> Love that song. What am I going to claim for that? I don't think so. I'll, I know Rusty Cage. I'll get out of it. Man. <laughs> I will. I bet your boots. My aunt used to say. So, what was hey, the end result? I don't want to read all these get what, what Did he get out of it? Um, Riveter? No, he's still going through it. He'll be all right. No, he's got, what he's got to do is, no, he's got to wait 30 days. So he should, yeah. How come nobody ever calls me? Like, um, yeah, he's just got to wait and then the guy doesn't put up lawsuit and then it goes away it's not a big deal and those there's right. no warning here either because you usually get the warning if it's like a community one so he's fine he's fine i wish dave had done that <laughs> 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 no he didn't do that be clear it's just a joke yeah he done do his girlfriend did it netflix hates love i guess they got rid of all the woke shit Click on that. Let's see what that's. I don't know. I'm afraid to be a big dick in there or something. When I click on that. <laughs> Can't have that. But he's own heart trying to under that. He died 25 years ago today. Oh really? King Brick, your 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 life. Who won? Um, who won that stupid game show you've been watching and doing streams on? Uh, the the name American. Hey, what's her name? Josie. Josie Everybody liked. Okay, that was the most popular one anyway. 
Yeah, okay. she was the good one. I I was gonna call in and say, what the fuck? I've been gone. A, I've been gone for like a month, and now Tipsters dropped out and teamed up with fucking uh, what's his name? What's her name? Caffles. Caffles. Yeah. Caffles. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah, it, it is pretty wild. Mm. I actually I had a joke that I was working up, and the punchline was that they're both insane. But then the rest of your stories rolled, and I was just I yeah. I well, feel like that nice. was the out outclassed. Nice. Outclassed yep. by, uh, yeah, I think the dog go fucking uh, class Kefos. I think, yeah, I think, really, I, I think, I think they're all like, I think, like, internet fame makes people fucking nuts. It does. Like, Lee, I think Levy thinks it's money, I think it's fame. There's what? no one in your corner, so when you become like a celebrity, like a movie star or something, there's people in your corner that help you through That's this. That's true. When you become they, an they internet know. celebrity, there's no one there, there's so no one you're there. stuck yeah. with the ego drive, you know? Yeah, Damn, you're stuck, no one's there to fucking pull you in. Yeah, and just kind of also the top. See if you go like mainstream media. Yeah, and a lot of people are making in Hollywood though too. They're fucking psycho psychotic. They but they've got parents. like bosses still, right? So they've yeah. got like, people tell them. They, 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 they're psychotic, but they got people telling them when to say stuff and when to shut the fuck yeah. up. And internet does people yeah. don't have that. I, mean, I didn't have that. I had trouble with some over that. So. I watched a guy dump bleach all over his face because he had five hundred street people watching him on Facebook. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> was you, like what type of bleach? Like fuck like, up, like this... pure, like concentrated bleach, like dumped it all over his face and was like, Did he die? at the end of it. Ah, oh no. So it's oh. it's there's something in it when you get like an audience, people tend to they're looking to perform, I guess. But the girl fucking the dog, there was no audience. I would think, hope. I mean, she was. No, I think that church. girl's legit. I don't think she's phony. She had a she, she had an shit. audience. Of, I'll tell you, she had an audience of God. She know. No, she had like a Snapchat. I think she was doing shit on Snapchat. Cool. Oh, okay. She <laughs> did. I apologize. She's legit. She's legit. Real down dog fucker dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's for the cause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The principal, man. She stand up what's for what's right, man. Let me ask you something. Do you consider yourself a fish tank expert? Fish tank? I, I, yeah, I probably watch it as much, or if not more, than anybody else online okay. besides the cast. Are they doing another one when? Listen, fuckhead. Thank you, Speedy. Uh, they're Thank doing you. another one uh, the end of the year, probably. They said winter, so they said sometime, I guess, look for November-ish. Yeah. Uh, Can you believe that it, went off without the cops getting involved or somebody getting killed or arrested? Uh, yes, because I, w I went towards the house, right, to do yeah, my I heard. little stunt. I heard you got, and, you, you, uh, you, you broke into the fucking radio signal. Wait, yeah. what? You actually went into the house? Or like, no, he out. got, he figured out, uh, they had like a regular walkie-talkie, and they bought a walkie-talkie, and he walked up to the <laughs> no, house, and he it's started worse talking than that. to it. I had a walkie-talkie, and I th I saw that my walkie-talkie had the same bands as their walkie-talkie, because yeah. I, like, visually identify what they had. So I fucking went there, took a train, met a guy, fucking was outside all day trying to get on the radio. We then, we talked to Seth, and Seth was like, nah, your radio isn't gonna work, there's only, like, one or two channels in common. So we went to Walmart, got another walkie-talkie, fucking came back in the middle of the night, same thing, tried it, couldn't get on. Fucking, we thought we were gonna have to give up. Uh, we ended up waiting one more day. We waited for an Army Navy surplus store to open. And we got one of those cheap, like, Bao Fang ham radios where you could program the frequency. And I spent, like, half an hour programming every single frequency of their walkie-talkies into my thing. The first channel was it. I fucking... Yeah, I know. As you can say, I, I got... First of all, you're lying. Seth told me what happened. They just, they, they were on channel, they were on channel one, just be honest. Yeah, they were on channel one, I programmed <laughs> all the same fucking channels on yeah, that Seth told me the story. No, saying, he's saying he programmed a bunch of channels, no, he did. But he just said, try channel one. one, it worked. Seth says that was bullshit. I forget what you I'll tell you, I'll tell you all the channels I got here. I got channel yeah. one through 16, they're all yeah. programmed. It's just on channel, why wouldn't it be on channel one? Nobody thought anybody would be goofy enough to try I, to break the, yeah. I, I, I saw that as a challenge. I said, you it can't go in the house, like, there's gonna be a cop, but so like. Break is right in a way okay he programmed in what would be their channel that's one. what you told me though then you then, then you're lying to me uh, maybe i explained it poorly yeah, yeah you're, you're like what an one. idiot he's on channel one <laughs> no but it's because it's because the other uh one he had didn't have those ch like frequencies yeah, i got that part i got that that i believe you too funny so so their channel one for him was still something he had to program in you know what'll make this conversation smarter? Doug. Doug! You yeah, you're there. Doug, how are you? Dougie? Doug, Doug, Doug. Doug, 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 Doug. Doug. <laughs> Come on. Oh, how are you? I'm sir? okay. I'm okay. How are what's, you? Guys? What's going on? Add to the show, please. Hey, Doug. Okay. 
I just want to know why why are the girls getting fucking dogs and us guys don't get a chance. That's not right, man. Fucked up. What are you saying? Uh, you want a shot of the dog? <laughs> oh, I don't want a dog. Dogs are just loyal. So you would get so you would bang this chick, you think? This Denise Fraser? Would you bang her? Let me see. Um oh, well, actually after that after she fucked a dog no. <laughs> yeah, he got standards. <laughs> Why is she blue? Was well, she like I don't know? I what? think you would dog I think you would fuck her. Me? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, sure. I would. I would. You, I know you would go so far up her fucking ass, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me. I think earlier today in the show that your co-host, uh, Matt Pitt, was taking shots at me. When? When? What? Oh. Yeah, I think he was. When? When oh. you were talking about the 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 trans thing, and he was like, "Oh, I I I'm not gonna have a conversation about that." Blah blah blah. Like, what you no, you that's because he watched our yourself. stream. No, yeah, it is about, about me, Matt Pitt, because I'm so much funnier than you. <laughs> okay, then why aren't you on shot from the point? Yeah, why you? I, I no! could be. Hey, wait, am I not? Am I not? Uh, Matt Pitt? I'll tell yeah, you once that. every fucking oh. week. Well, she should have slept with me in London that, okay. like a normal person. Busy. She got it right on. I'm busy being funny. Yeah, I bet. She should have slept Dude, with me I'll in London, you. and then she would have got the job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doug, Doug likes sex. Jokes. I should have chopped my leg off. Yeah. <laughs> <Ouch. laughs> <That would work. laughs> God damn! Oh uh, man. Mm. No, I, think just gonna the I think we've had enough. Guess, but I did want to ask. Got I wanted it. to ask Brick a question. How close did you get to the house, Brick? Three hundred feet. I was. I was. We were, we were considering shining a laser through the window. That is a catchy get it on the radio song, by the way. It is. Did uh, did you see anyone around there? Um, no, but Jet spoke to me on the radio. Have you took the have you took their radio? So I don't care. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, I was. I guess let me do my one liner about uh, not the one liner. Let me do my bit about Keffels and and, and the fat guy. A fat guy and a man who shot the cock off walk into the bar. Bartender says, we don't take your kind here. You take up too much space and you're scaring off all my customers. Keffel starts screaming fat? immediately about trans rights and how she's going to have her audience calm down and close down the place. Tipster start immediately starts hyperventilating and pleading for an order of wings, saying he can't believe it. <laughs> the bartender says, actually, we don't take you because you're insane and irrational. Also, we don't take you And then he said, tips and then Tipster said, hold up. Thank you very much, everybody. For all you Patreons out there, uh, I'm going to try to do something. I got to find a new way to end this. And I'll get your names up there. I'm doing something real soon. I want to let you know that I appreciate every one of you. Send me lots of money because uh, this apparently it's got age restricted. <laughs> I don't know why. Have have a, have a good one, everybody, and uh, I'll see you in the after show right after this. Bye. Shout out to all the white girls and shout out to all the dogs. <laughs>